Okay, I'm here with um, uh, Robin Davis, the MD of the Magazine Company, uh, and we're going to have five minutes, Robin. Uh, we're on the clock. As soon as five, the alarm goes for five minutes, we'll stop whatever we're talking about. Um, so, what's your, your history uh, of being involved with, with magnetic stimulation? Well, my history actually with magnetic stimulation, I joined the Magstim company in 1990. Right. Um, I was with them as sales manager initially and then ended up as sales director. And I left the Magstim company to uh, pursue Pastors New in 1998 and returned to Magstim as managing director last year, 2012. Right. So, in all that, in that, in that break, um, uh, did you have any other involvement with magnetic stimulation? Or I have did you keep an eye on it? Yeah. I had passive involvement. I kept my eye on the yeah. field. I was involved in the field of cognitive neuroscience, EEG, yeah. ERP, navigation. So I was always close to magnetic stimulation, yeah. never too far away. And how long was that break again? How long were you It away? was around about 14, 15 okay. years. Okay, and in that 14, 15 years, when you came back, how much had changed and how much hadn't? And what hadn't? Principally, the technology hadn't changed yeah. greatly. I mean, when I left, um, rapid rate stimulation was coming to the fore. The theories of depression alleviation with the rapid rate uh, was coming to the fore. So uh, what I saw really was that the amount of research that had been done in the field in that uh, intermediate time had increased yeah. greatly. And then proof of that um, TMS for depression was uh, uh, yeah. you know, working. Yeah. Yeah, and we've seen that with the FDA approval and the Canadian approval and the German approval. Exactly. So what do you think is making it so slow to take off in, in the UK? I, I, I would say in the UK the structure of the healthcare profession, psychiatry, is making it a little bit slower, whilst the UK is uh, one of the, at the forefront of research. Perhaps funding, NHS funding, is, is probably um, a restriction on that. Yeah. But one would say with NICE guidelines coming out, I think there'll be a change. We as a company are moving things forward, um, getting awareness going, uh, working on TMS workshops, as is the uh, neuromodulation um, yeah. meeting we have today. Yeah. And is the Magstin company going to make a push towards depression? Are you going to try and make a contribution or just wait for psychiatrists to buy your machines? Well, <laughs> when I came back to the company a year ago, yes, when, um, the first board meeting I, I took uh, part in, um, Professor Ian Freeston, one of the founding fathers of um, magnetic stimulation, said, well, Robin, uh, on the board of Magstin, you must have seen a lot of changes. And I said, well, it's actually it looks like taking a year off uh, because we were talking about FTA approval, yeah. etc. Yeah. then. Um, but I think now we are gearing up, we are strongly um, more in touch with the marketplace yeah. and we are going to gear up to, uh, to, to yeah. push into that area big time. And your machines are already driving one of the coils that's got FDA approval? Yes, we, yeah. we, we manufacture the, the core device for, for the Brainsway system. Um, and I think we, moving forward, um, will have clinical systems that will, will be world beating. And um, what would you say second then on, on, on the agenda? Because it's, it's a strange relationship between Magstim and, and, and the research environment, because sometimes uh, you've come up with things that we think, oh, that's useful, we'll use that. And other times we've come to you and say, this is what we need. So have we got any surprises coming out? Is, what's, what's the next big thing on your agenda after depression, which seems to be... Well, I, I think, I mean, what we don't want to appear, uh, appear to be like the snake Sales, salesman, you know, the panacea for all ills. I mean, we are going to have to focus. I think depression is taking the, the majority of yeah. our effort at the moment in the TMS field, but you know, we're equally guided along the fields of pain, stroke rehabilitation, uh, and many others. But I think we really got to focus on what we're good at yeah. and, um, and fine tune our product to deliver better products, cool call systems yeah. that the market needs. And I will listen to the needs of the market. And uh, have there been any big changes in the in the Magstin company? Is it getting bigger? Is it shrinking? Or what's we, that, we, what's we have seen Wales? dramatic changes over the last year. I think historically over the last couple of years we've seen a little bit of a dip and all that, but we're way on the increase now. Uh, we've had just completed a fantastic year of sales. Uh, we've grown uh, on personnel from uh, around 68 people a year ago. We're 86 as of today. Wow. We're investing in the field of the engineering department, sales and marketing, um, driving the customer-driven needs uh, more. We're yeah. trying to listen more, actually. Yeah. Okay. That sounds that sounds fantastic. And um, what about the um, about the use of TMS worldwide? Are there any any areas of the world? I mean, so in Europe it's huge, in the UK it's huge, in the US it's huge. Are there any any new areas of the world that we should be keeping an eye on? Well, I think. 
the Far East is massive and I just the research or for medical both it's, it's moving into both fields now it's high in the research in Japan and China okay. India is growing dramatically um, but also each of those countries are moving heavily into the clinical field and going to their own res oh, respective that's it. we're done mate thank you we're <laughs> done thank you very much